All right, good morning. Woke up this morning and uh, I left. It was such a nice night last night before we went to bed. I left my doors open on the tent. So it was just a screen. And the, uh, when I woke up this morning, the wind was blowing like right through my side and the fog was rolling in and everything I had got wet. So that kind of started off my morning off. Not so great. I was not in a very good mood. Um, but yeah, so I just had to warm up whatever so we got a later start than we wanted to because of that there was just water everywhere also inside the tent from the fog that's yucky um we're hoping to do at least 20 miles today in about 10 miles we enter a town where there's like an outfitter and i think a restaurant and a bunch of different things so i don't know if we're gonna stop there we may just to get some bug spray, but we'll see. Now I gotta ask these guys where to go, because I don't know. Oh, and just to clarify, all the wet stuff, my tent last night was not z -Pack's fault. It was Mother Nature's fault. <laughs> or my fault, but it was not z -Pack's fault this time. We're, we're lost right now, so trying to find our way. Right, we're just walking along this old, looks like a dirt road, gravel road. Um, I wanted to mention again, uh, I know a lot of people reached out to us in our comments, like commented on our videos, saying that they want to help. Um, please keep in mind that our videos are a week delayed. So what you're watching now, we are a week further along in reality. Um, and the best way for you to get in touch with us to help us out is to email us. Amy and John on the AT at gmail.com. That's all one word. I always put the email address in the description box of the videos. Um, it's really hard for me to keep track of comments when people say they want to help. So please, please, please send us an email. If you think we're coming to your area and you want to help out, please shoot us an email. Um, we appreciate all the help that we have gotten and that people have offered and it's just, it's awesome, but please just email it to us. It's so much easier for me to keep track and to be able to correspond with you and, uh, you know, figure out the logistics. So we just came out of
Culver's Gap and there's like a couple restaurants there and I stuffed myself with a bacon cheeseburger and some onion rings and then there was trail magic shortly after that and I had a banana and a cookie and I am so full and we had this big climb afterwards so I don't feel so good um, but yeah it's probably why I'm not losing any weight out here I haven't lost anything I'm exactly the same um, we don't know if we're going to be doing I guess it would be now 10 miles or 13 miles to the shelter. We haven't decided which shelter we're gonna stay at. I'll let the boys decide. So we were just hiking and we came upon this structure, this pavilion. We have no idea. There's no roads that come up to it. Nothing. This is so strange. We're like out up on top of this mountain and there's nothing. Very weird. If you know what this is, just leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. We're at the summit. There it is. There are fine views as far southwest as Pocono Ski Resort, a large stone pavilion with benches provide shade and rest, but no camping. More like Sunset Mountain. Yeah, the sunset be really nice here. Yeah. Dream, that's when we stopped. No. We were just like, no. we, we probably are going the wrong way. If it makes you feel any better, Baby Bear and I started going that same direction for just a second when we came See? out. See? <laughs> See, it was like I was telling him I was worried way. about me going the wrong it way. It wasn't just yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I assume whenever you're holding your phone up. You know, and I up. went the wrong way out of the shelter earlier. About point one. Point two. Point two. These numbers keep changing. We don't <laughs> I'm just trying to get it some extra miles. miles. <laughs> they took a while to get here. We so. did more miles than this guy. I bet so. 